In this lesson, we're going to talk about Toro's rotor called the T5 Rapid Set Rotor. It's one of many Toro rotors that you may encounter out in the field in residential and light commercial applications. This is one of the newer product offerings, really, really fine head, uh, great movement, super durable. It's a five inch pop up. The radius runs between 25 to 50 feet. The configurations that you can find this head in are the, the five inch pop up lawn rotor. There's a shrub rotor and they also have a high pop which the dimensions are about 16 inches. So it's, it's a nice size high pop that gets up and over. Um, it's a part circle configuration, meaning you can adjust the arc anywhere between a 40 and 360 degrees. And the nozzles have what Toro call an airfoil technology. And it's their patented procedure for basically getting the very best pattern out of their nozzles that they can get. And also on this head, you can get effluent options. So at, looking through the website, I didn't really see them indicate whether or not it was a purple top or whatever, but more than likely that's what it is. We don't really work with any reclaimed water in our area, but um, we, do, we are familiar with the products here. But um, let's talk about how to adjust this because the rapid set refers to a way to adjust the T5 without using any tools. Of course, there's a, a left arc adjustment on top of the head that we can insert a small flat blade screwdriver down into. We'll take a look at that in the video. But in the printed material, in the, um, the lesson handout that you've downloaded, there are written instructions for doing this. So in case you get stuck out somewhere and you kind of forget what the procedures are. But if you work with this a few times, you'll remember it. It's just easy as pie to set. So let's go ahead and take a look at this video. We're looking at the T5 here. Let's check both the right and left limits. Okay, we want to take the right limit back around to our right so we can twist it to the right. And if we need to take our left limit back clockwise to the left, we can just twist it to add more on and you feel some resistance in the clicking, that's okay. But if we want to take some off the left limit, turn it to the left by the amount you want to subtract and then twist it back to the right. We'll talk about that a little bit more, but you can also adjust that left limit with a flat, blade, uh, flat bladed screwdriver down in there. Toro has its own little flat blade head there. So if you want to change those things around, you can use that to alter the arcs aside from the rapid set. But let's talk a little bit further about the rapid set, okay? When it's running and we want to set our right limit first, we twist it around to the right but let's say that we wanted to bring in that right limit and we needed that right limit to come in counterclockwise. That means you've got to grab a hold of the head either with your hands while it's running, grab the shaft and twist it to the left counterclockwise to bring that limit back in. Or you can get a pair of channel locks on that and carefully grab a hold of that shaft and twist it a little, just a touch to get that left limit back in. Okay, so and when you turn it around to check the left limit, if you want to bring the left limit around counterclockwise, then you just twist in the head kind of against the gears and you kind of feel it popping and it's okay. It's meant to do that. And so you can bring that left limit out. The tricky part is, is if you want to bring the left limit in clockwise and reduce that arc on the left side is that you t twist it all the way to the right and then back to the left, only the amount that you want to subtract off the left limit. I know that's a little tricky, but let's say that the left limit went 20 degrees too far. We're thinking about a 360 degree circle. Let's say that left limit goes 20 degrees too far to the left. Okay, so twist it back to the right and then back to the left, only that 20 degrees that you want to subtract and then twist it back to the right. You'll feel the, the gears clicking when you do it. And then when you let it go, it'll go back to where that 20% minus on the left limit and hopefully that'll be okay. But you can also adjust that limit with the screwdriver down in the arc adjustment slot. So if you go old school and that's the way you want to do it, you don't necessarily have to use all of the, the rapid set features. There's also the ability to do it there, but either way, it's a really quick head to get set up. And as far as the right limit goes, <clears throat> you should really set that stuff up. If you're doing a new installation, you should install that in the ground with the right limit already 
um, mostly dry set really close to where you want it. So there's very little fooling around with that right edge when you come around to adjusting the system.